So I've kind of hinted about uh, the coefficient of friction before when I was introducing forces initially. Um, so now we really want to get into the nitty gritty of it and to really understand uh, how that's going to affect the problems that we have to deal with. Um, so let's start off really from scratch with the coefficient of friction um, just so we've got an idea. Now if you've got um, a table, let's say the table is smooth and you've got a box resting on the table, okay? Then what you have is you've got the weight of the box working vertically downwards, mass times gravity, okay? Then you've got a normal reaction force, R, working upwards, okay? Now, although the table is uh, supporting the box, okay, if the table is smooth, perfectly smooth, then there is nothing, you know, if you come along and tap the box, then the box will start to move, okay? Now, if you try and do this, like, uh, under any kind of other circumstances, um, where you've got the box on a tabletop, in real life, the table will have some friction, okay? You can't get this perfectly smooth surface. So, if you've just got a box and you've got it on a table and you start to put a little bit of pressure on it to push it, Okay, initially, right, if you kind of like are pushing it kind of very weakly, um, the box won't move. That's because the uh, force that you are applying to the box is not overcoming the force of the friction working against you. Okay, so up to a certain point, the friction um, from the table is going to stop the box from moving, okay? Now, through trials, it's been found that actually the coefficient of friction, um, sorry, the frictional force, is proportional to the normal reaction force, okay? And we can say that actually the frictional force that is uh, working against you pushing the box, okay, if you're very lightly pushing it, okay, up to the moment when it is about to move, F is less than or equal to mu times R. Now, mu is our coefficient of friction, okay? Um, so, mu designate is designated by how... Uh, smooth the table actually is. So if you're trying to push against uh, a box through carpet, for example, rather than a, a fairly smooth tabletop, mu will be larger. Okay. Now, in a lot of cases, mu is uh, between 0 and 1. However, there are materials so that actually mu uh, can be greater than 1. It's not restricted. To being going up to one, okay? So you can look on engineer, engineering tables, you can just Google uh, coefficient of frictions for different surfaces, and you can see what um, has been found, um, found for that. Now, what I said there was as you're pushing the block, okay, pushing the box, and you're pressing against the box, then there's going to be this point when actually the um, the box is just about to move, okay? And we refer to that as limiting equilibrium. It's on the point of tipping, okay? And at that point, okay, at that point, we have that the friction force is equal to mu times the normal reaction force, okay? So when we're in limiting equilibrium, F is equal to mu times R. So that's also the case of when we are just pushing the block, okay, uh, the friction force has been overcome, okay, and you've got that constant friction force if the situation has a constant um, resistive force, okay. 
So if the problem says we're limiting equilibrium, then we can say that the friction is equal to mu times r. So some of these questions will incorporate mu and tell you what it is so that you can find the frictional force. Some will say what the frictional force is and allow you to find the coefficient of friction. Okay, so we're going to go through a few examples of that just so you can see the types of problems that you'll have to deal with.